What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. With 42 break-ins reported at Guam's public schools during the 2012-2013 school year, Department of Education Superintendent John Fernandez wants to move forward with the purchase of $800,000 worth of security equipment for DOE schools before the next school year begins in just 11 days. The funding was approved through the Secure Our Schools Act, which was signed into law last April. But Fernandez says DOE is still waiting for the General Services Agency to get the procurement started. The uh, actual procurement of the security services was due on July 31st, and uh, it hasn't been done yet. Fernandez says he plans to talk with Speaker Judy Wampat and GSA to see if they can get the procurement back in DOE's hands. We actually have a separate secu uh, school security bid out uh, with regard to our federal uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. And so we're hoping that maybe if the speaker and GSA concur, we can actually just you, uh, take the, those school security dollars and add, you know, sort of piggyback on our uh, outgoing procurement and just get it done uh, in, in much more quickly. So we're hoping we can do it because we want the school security uh, into our, in our schools as early as we can do, uh, this school year. Funds from the Secure Our Schools Act are earmarked for security systems, equipment, and maintenance, while the federal dollars are intended to protect federally purchased equipment by addressing weaknesses and vulnerabilities surrounding that equipment. With both strategies in place, Fernandez believes DOE's assets will be well protected. But time is running out before students return to the classroom, so Fernandez says the department has developed a needs assessment to address the most vulnerable schools first. We know that our schools up north have been the ones that have been most vulnerable, although we do have a couple of schools in the south who have seen uh, repeated incidents over the past year. And with $333,000 in lost funds caused by last year's copper wire thefts and other break-ins, Fernandez is looking forward to having more deterrence in place this year. Betsy Brown, PNC News.